is it necessary to move our lips while we are doing dhikr? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that when a person, a person he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as his lips move. So from this hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we know that when we are remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should move our lips. We find certain people when they are doing dhikr, when they are verbally remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar and the other dhikr, for example, the morning adhkar, the evening adhkar. They do not move their lips. And when they are doing dhikr, they do it in such a way. So now, in this situation, a person, he is internally doing his dhikr. For example, he may internally say subhanallah without even moving his lips the best that a person can do is that he should verbally do his dhikr at least in a soft voice so that he can hear it for himself for example subhanallah subhanallah he should do it in a soft voice so that he can hear it for himself at least without causing disturbance to others but if he is in a place for example, in the masjid, wherein he feels that other people will get disturbed with his voice. So the bare minimum that he should the bare minimum that he should do is at least move his lips. At least there should be some movement of the lips. For example, I said subhanallah three times. And I also said alhamdulillah. So at least little movement of your lips should be done when you are doing adhkar, when you are remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it be saying Subhanallah, whether it be saying Alhamdulillah, whether it be saying Allahu Akbar, whether it be the morning adhkar, the evening adhkar, whether it be the adhkar in asala, for example, saying Subhan Rabbil Azim in the ruku, for example, saying Subhan Rabbil Ala in as sujood, for example, reciting the dua during the tashahud, as well as the recitation of the glorious Quran when we are reciting Suratul Fatiha as well. So we should at least do this. And if we can recite it in a soft voice, this is even better. And it is very important that we should engage in dhikr. We should engage in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more it will draw us closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whenever we are doing dhikr, we should see to it that we at least move our lips to a certain level when we are doing our adhkar or when we are doing dhikr, when we are remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope that answers your question.